up beautiful people welcome once again to HN Clothings the one place where you are empowered to be your own boss to be sharing my knowledge and fashion with you and in today's video we're going to be learning how to cut these different neck designs yes I'm sure as fashion creators most of us always run out of ideas on the next neck design to cut so if you'd love to see how all these neck designs were cut please do keep on watching also guys Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. I really do appreciate you. God bless you all abundantly. But if you're yet to subscribe, please do click the subscribe button. And also go ahead to click the bell notification icon so you'll know when next I upload a new video. And without much rambling, let us get started. This is my basic bodies pattern. I transferred this to this um, makeshift pattern papers. Sometimes you just have to improvise. I ran out of my pattern paper, so I just had to use what I have available. So I made like a half length bodice from this, removing the dart. There are some standard measurements you need to know. The wideness of your neck width will depend how low the length of the neck is going to be. So if you have a wide neck width here, make sure your neck length is not so low. If you have a smaller neck width here, then your neck length can be low. It's indirectly proportional. If you make this wide and you make this long, you're going to run into trouble. That is when the shoulder seam will not sit well on the shoulder. It will start moving and having some funny shapes and we don't want any of that. So we're going to work with all of this. And the first neck design that we're going to be cutting is the round neck. That's the most basic and that's the one that you see the most clothes design. So let's start with the round neck pattern. Come here and measure about three and a half inches. So I'll mark three and a half inch here. And I'm going to go down to about four inches. You can do four, you can do four and a half. So first things, try and make a perfect square first of all so I'm using three and a half here so now come to this place and draw a diagonal just draw a straight line coming out to about 3 cm from this point here use your curve ruler to join this line any part from this line to that part and any point from this line to that part so this is how the round neck will look like. So this is what your round neck will look like. Now the next neck we're going to be looking at is the U neck. So this is three and a half inches by six inches. That makes the scoop neckline. But if it's the U neckline, you should be three and a half, maybe by five or by four for the U but the scoop goes lower it could be three and a half to six or three and a half to seven that's just the difference between the u and the scoop so here i'll make three and a half to so i have a perfect square you don't need to draw a diagonal Opening it up, you can see the U already there. So we're going to do the square neckline. For the square neckline, we have square and we have the wide square. So for this normal square, we'll just come to maybe three or three and a half inch for the normal square, and maybe for Three and a half, so three and a half by three and a half, or three and a half by four. So we we'll join it on that point. Then mark three and a half here again, so that we have a perfect square. Join it to that point. This is how the square looks then the wide square here will be like five inch 
five by four and a half or by five inch. So now we can see the difference between this. This one is a white square and it's still modest but it's wide this is the white square while this is just the normal square neck so for the boat neck we have the width is between four and a half to five inches so we'll do five inches and it should come down to just about three inches So this is how my both neck looks like next neckline is the sweetheart neckline the neck width here will be about four inches and the total neck length should stop at about seven inch so I want it to be four by seven inch so I'm gonna draw one line there first so now that we have that I'm going to draw another line by this four and a half inch mark here so I'm drawing like two lines the first line to four and a half then the total neck to seven inches and I'm covering it just put your curve ruler like upside down to make that curve there for the sweetheart neck then we'll cut it out so when you open it up this is your sweetheart neckline see how beautiful it looks so for the scallop neckline first thing I'm going to draw a neck width of about four inch here so I want the scallop neck to be just about maybe seven inches or seven and a half inch let me make it seven and a half inch so from here we want to make like a step-by-step -step ladder so first thing you do is you ask yourself how many scallops do you want to have about seven and a half inch here I'm going to make each scallop about I'll make two and a half here because I want like three scallops so the first neck will stop at about half then the next will stop here look for the midpoint of this second neck and the midpoint is about two here so the first neck you, you still use the same curve how we did the sweetheart neck let it get to this point then from there put the curve again and let it get to this point so this is your scallop neck you see how we made it very easy so for the asymmetric neckline you need to open it up completely first off you come to it depends on how where you want the asymmetric neck to be I want the neck the shoulder here to be about three and a half inch wide then here is going to come down to about maybe two inch wide so and I want the neck depth that's the length of the neck to be about six inches for it from this point you can now just draw a diagonal to make this straight up this is like my asymmetric neck 
if you want it lower than this then you can instead of six you can go down to maybe seven and still increase it one shoulder neckline you still open it up you have to use your full bodies for the one shoulder you come here and you measure the shoulder you want the shoulder length you want here so i want maybe about three and a half inch here right and here it depends on how low i want to go here so i could just do maybe four inch low so So this is one shoulder neckline we're going to do the v-neck so for the v-neck so you come to your neck width and you measure three and a half inches so you can observe that i'm using three and a half because that's like the standard for most of the neckline measurements except for the boat neck and for the square neck but every other one you can use about three and a half three three and a half four so i'll measure three and a half that I'll, it depends on how low i want my v to be i'm going to make it eight inches so this eight seven and eight inches do not show anything it gives it a more broader look for the v now if i cut this one open you see that it's actually quite narrow so sometimes what i love to do is to make my v just have a little curve so it's something like this so you can see the the deepening of the v let's cut it on this line first so you can see the difference then you pick whichever you prefer so this is just the straight v if we open it up this is what you have then if I make it a little curve like this This one is a V with a little curve Then this is what I'll have Can you see the little curving? So I usually prefer this kind of V to just a normal straight V okay, So now we want to do the plunging V neckline So for a plunging V neckline most times the shoulder width is wider I'm going to use a 4 inch shoulder width and I'm going to make the V go down to about 12 inches. Remember, 12 inches is like showing the cleavage. You use a curve ruler, like so. This is the first one. So we can see how deep this V is or you can cut it on the second line right so if you are going this deep remember you're going to hold the shoulder more so that it stays properly because if you just sew it by the half inch it won't relax well on the shoulder so if you sew it by like one inch then it's going to fit properly so you can see so this is our deep v we're doing the strapless neckline now so for the strapless neckline you measure your chest line so my chest line is about eight inches this is where my chest line is so on my chest line I can now come and decide okay where do i want my strapless bodies to start from like mid armhole point and maybe just straight up or from this mid armhole point then you can do like a sweet sweet hat depending on you so we're going to start from this mid armhole point and this is where if you're doing a sweet hat that's why i did the chest line so the chest line will determine from where to where it's going to curve and stop at so this one if you want to make maybe like a 
a tube top or one of those things so this is how you just do your sweetheart but if you want to make it straight no need to cover it just cut on a straight line next neckline we want to look at is the queen and neckline so the measure your neck width your neck width should just be about two and a half or three inches okay so let's make it three inches then how low do you want it to get to let's make it for eight inches here you can do it seven and a half inch so i'm going to rule a line measuring that three inches too as well and i'm going to have another line like in between like four and a half inch that's where that next straight line will be i'm gonna roll it there this part is wider the shoulder here is wider than what is going to get to here so if here is four you can make here to be maybe like three or two is fine here let me roll that line to get to two so from there i'm going to connect this point to this point here then from that point i'll just cover it straight up to this point here This is the queen and neckline so for the wrap neckline we need to open it up so you're going to start from here you measure from this point um, about three and a half inches so I'll measure three and a half inch also measure your chest line so my chest is about eight inch which is here I'm going to rule a line so that's my chest line this is the midpoint of my chest line my wrap neck is going to start from here come to this midpoint this place is going to stop at about 13 inch so about here that's where the neck is going to stop at just cut double of this and the other one will serve for the other part if you want your cleavage to show you don't want it to stop at this chest line you can go below the chest line maybe about here and you are covering from here to this point so that's when boobies can come out to play so that is about it today i hope this tutorial has been helpful and you've learned one or two things about different neck designs and you have a, lo a whole lot of options to choose from so if you like this tutorial please give me thumbs up do not forget to subscribe guys i love you so much and till we see you in our next tutorial see you bye